Diamond Platinums has been thrown in the mud by one of the nice looking, handsome, uh, looking, nice looking. He is really loved by women in Kenya and in East Africa. That is Otile Brown. And it's all about whether Diamond Platinum is really an international artist or not. Now, for everyone who is reaching on this video, go into the comment section and tell me your thoughts. Do you think Diamond Platinum is really an international artist? Yes or no? And we are going to obviously proceed from there and see to it that all goes into where we want it to be. East Africa Social Television, it is. Rock and David is my name. Don't forget to subscribe because we want to hit 30,000 subscribers before the end of today. Sorry, before the end of this month. And... I've gone ahead, obviously, try to really be present on a daily on this YouTube channel. And we are also going to really bring you the new song of Harmonize and um, Jinga. He calls them Chinga. Diamond calls him Chinga. Not Diamond. It's Harmonize calls him Chinga. That is, um, what's the name of the guy? He's called Ibra TZ that is going, that is making rounds and breaking records all over different social media platforms just 11 days since its release. We thank God for the gift of life. The Muslims, you're warming up for your Ramadan period, month of fasting, and for the Christians, they are already fasting what we call the Lent period, and it's going to be ending on the 31st of this month. Now, let's obviously start it off with this that most of you are really waiting in for, a story that's going to have to make rounds now while on oga obina's channel otila brown has hate in east africa we don't have international artists we are still very far diamond platinum doesn't know how to sing it's just noise was this really the right thing for him to do in a perfect world he was right to say that yeah in the perfect world Sorry, in the, in the perfect world, he was, not, he was not right to say that. But ask yourself, is there a perfect world? <laughs> that is the most important bit of it all. Is there a perfect world? The answer is no. There is no perfect world. And in this game of showbiz, you really have to try out to pull out the way of obviously chasing clout. And he said all this to really chase for clout. Let's all admit, because unless you are insane, Unless you are really having a problem on your head, you cannot come out and say, Diamond Platinums doesn't know how to sing. Diamond Platinums just makes noise and is not an international artist. All of the things we are talking about, Diamond is better at you. Otila Brown, you don't sing better than Diamond Platinums. Go and listen to Diamond Platinum songs, how he crones and how Otila crones. You know, when you look at Diamond Platinums, He's really one of those people that are really versatile. He does dance all reggae, R&B, Afro pop, but right now it's known as Afro beats. And he's really one of the kings of the region. In East Africa, Diamond Platinum is bigger than Otile Brown in Kenya. Because if you ask Otile Brown to name his price for the amount of money that Diamond Platinum performs, if you tell Otile to name the price that he performs with at Kenya, Diamond Platinum can multiply it by 20 times. In the recently October concluded first last year where Diamond went ahead to really perform that it was organized by Swangs Avenue <laughs> and Bell Lager. He came out and asked, he, he was asked, he came out and answered the question that was, why do you take long to perform in Kenya? He said, I'm really an expensive artist. That's why Kenyans cannot afford me. So it required one of the biggest brewing companies in the, in the region. That is, I think Uganda breweries to really bring him to, to really take him to Kenya. I think it's East African breweries. Yeah, East African breweries to take him to Kenya to really perform, meaning that he's an expensive artist and all he does is all about really being an expensive artist. Now, that shows you exactly that. He's the biggest artist in the region in East Africa, right? And being international, no question mark onto that. If Otile has an ocean of questions about whether Diamond Platinum's is international or not then he needs to really sit in a ship to sail onto that ocean and really ask it and he will get the answers you know go to the world look at his numbers you know one of the most subscribed to artists in africa on youtube you know i think he's second to banner boy then he's the most followed east african artist on instagram and is among the top 10 artists followed on Instagram in Africa, that is Diamond Platinum for you to show you that he's international. He has gone ahead to perform 
different countries you know Uganda Tanzania South Sudan Kenya uh, Burundi DR Congo uh, Nigeria South Africa Egypt uh, Central Africa he's really strong there you know Guinea Senegal Cote d'Ivoire name it you know when the World Cup was really there in Qatar he was one of those African artists that were really paid by FIFA to go ahead and really perform at the World Cup in other in other events not the main event or the closing event but these other fun packed parties that were really held by FIFA in Qatar so it shows you how good he is and he's going to be performing onto his second Afro Nation fest as Diamond Platinums he has gone ahead to scoop nominations in the BET you know uh, he has just won last year by the way he was named the best African act artist in MTV Europe Awards Diamond is really continuing to show how good he is and what class he is so Otila is just trying to perf to really promote his album you know he dropped an album that has close to 20 tracks it's called Grace he's trying to really chase clout and really gain a lot of knowledge about himself but he's putting himself in the know of the public but in the imperfect world he has gonna hate to do a very important thing for him to really make noise because on east africa social television we never really found anything interesting about his album but talking about otile right now on youtube and different other social media platforms i'm going to show you what other people on twitter say all on x are really saying about him it helps his name to be clicked by the ai and the ai depends on to what is famous on google and other platforms to really make these things trend on spotify uh youtube and so on and so on so he's obviously doing what we call the ai trick the ai trick is make noise and your song is really gonna really get a lot of views because you are gonna be into the search engine so he's trying to put himself in the search engine and we know his album grace looks like he's not it has not gonna have to make rounds well but it's getting views and i think he felt like he needed something else to go on to that and he also went ahead to really have a story about vera Sidika. i'm also gonna come out and be reveal you what he said about vera Sidika. so that is otile for you and he's just just such he's chasing clout there is no there is no doubt if you are dubious about how international diamond platinums is then the music industry of east africa is not meant for you that is it this he's he's the best east african music export that is it and jose chameleon had held this card for a very long time and this guy's gonna hit obviously coming through and get the stick of him and is now holding the stick otile cannot even go to tanzania to perform there and I would love to see to it that he books an interview at Wasafi and he gets asked that question on whether Diamond Platinum's international or not and see what he's gonna say. And I'm 100% sure he's gonna retake really his media tour to Tanzania to obviously find himself going. Now, someone has gonna hate obviously counter him and he goes by the names of Felix. Felix, he's really a digital and passionate online person. You know, he's a, a content creator. He said, Otile Brown's music career died a sudden death in 2021 during the COVID-19 era. He's now trying to revive it by engaging in unnecessary conflicts, particularly with Diamond Platinums, who declined a collaboration in 2022, citing Otile's penchant, penchant for emotional moans in his songs. So, it's like he's trying to reciprocate back the hate that Diamond Platinums went ahead and really dissed him. He's, recipro he's reciprocating back the diss. And that this is all about from Diamond Platinum saying that he is not a good singer. He has also gonna hate to throw a stone back Diamond Platinum that you are not international and you don't know how to sing, you make noise. And Diamond Platinum turned down a collaboration of Otile, something that Otile denied when he was onto the Moseto hosted by Willie Tuva. You understand? Then he also added and said, all right, that's what he said. So he said his career died then. So let's wait and see what Otile is gonna say all diamond platinums will come out and obviously respond to him but it's really one of those moments that i don't think diamond platinums can come out and really even pay pay an open ear he's gonna pay a deaf ear, ear to otile brown now after that let's go to harmonize harmonize has a new song known as dararu or dararu darau darau he features Ibra onto this song. The song is really making good rounds all over social media. And as we speak right now, the song of Ibra harmonize Darao 
within 11 days has reached 20 million views on TikTok. TikTok is the in thing. And if at all you are trending there, you know what it means, obviously, to trend on TikTok. It's not easy, but if you trend, your song can really make huge hits. We've gone ahead to see to it that artists like Tyler have come out and really say TikTok is really one of the platforms that really led her to the Grammys and introduced her to the African community. So we've gone ahead to see very many hit songs coming in through from Kenya. You remember that Femi One song that was really made? Mm, to, is it Utanaweza? I don't really recall the, the title very well, but it really made rounds because of the dance that really trended on TikTok of Aziad Nasenya, whose life is no longer the same ever since she went ahead to make that um, that uh, ever since she went ahead to make that uh, challenge that went ahead to trend. Then we've gone ahead to see in Uganda there is an artist called Alien Skin product. You know, born and bred on TikTok. There are artists in Nigeria born and bred on TikTok and all over the world. We've gone ahead to see the Kabila is coming in through to do the needful because of Tiki Talk. Now, on uh, the lyrics video that was uploaded onto the YouTube channel of Ibra. Uh, 11 days ago, it's having 1.6 million views plus, and on Spotify, it has gone ahead to surpass. It it has gone ahead to have 600, 62,371 streams on Spotify. The song is doing good. If you really have some time, endeavor to go on and listen to it. Da Harmonize is really trying to really try to do the needful. As he says, he's bigger than diamond platinums i'm gonna really come in through and obviously bring you more stories about that rock and david is my name i call upon your thoughts onto you or into the comment section below do you think diamond platinums knows how to sing do you think he doesn't know how to sing do you think he is an international artist all notes do you think otile brown knows how to sing as diamond said he doesn't know how to sing and what do you make about harmonizes new song darau that is really making huge rounds onto social media and it's really trending everywhere may the living to god bless you abundantly rock and david is my name don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a daily rock and david is my name five fingers whatever everyone watching in through i'm going to the champions league games find me on rockani media football if you feel like you should meet there continue to subscribe because we want to hit 30,000 subscribers guys let's subscribe to this channel we want to hit 30,000 subscribers before the end of this month can we really spread the love and reciprocate the love to you thank you and i think i've gonna hate to let you know about everything in uh, rwanda i'm really trying to trace on to you uh, Bruce Melody and what is happening that side. Zuchu being banned in Zanzibar. I really want to come out and really make a very huge video about it. I think it's gonna follow this and if at all I really have some time I should live stream that because I have huge a lot about it. Diamond Platinum's sentence to death. You know. All that and more into the comment section below. We out.